While the insecurity problem persists, the House of Representatives today failed to consider a motion for the reversal of an executive order banning possession and issuance of new licenses for firearms in the country. The lawmakers also called for proactive measures to prevent the spread of cervical cancer. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. In the last few years, in on a daily basis, security agencies intercept several arms and ammunition illegally imported into the country. This prompted President Muhammadu Buhari to invoke an executive order banning the possession of firearms. This was followed by a police directive banning issuance of new licenses for firearms. Now, the nation's worsening insecurity and the influx of illegal firearms leading to all manner of crimes and criminality have become a cause for concern. Before the failure of the microphone, PDP lawmaker Uzoma Abonta brings to the floor of the House a motion seeking the government reversal of the order so that individuals are able to defend themselves against attack. But the microphones suddenly went dead. How have I faulted? You kickstarted the request, Mr. Speaker. Said in the time when the act of God happened, I said I'm willing to be heard. <laughs> Why are they laughing? Okay, uh, when, I, the, when the sabotage happened. To step down pending a consultation and determination of a date. Mr. Speaker, other members across party lines also make inputs. This idea brought about now may have been better for another time, not for in this kind of circumstances where we have generally believed that proliferation of small and medium range arms is quite, quite unproductive to the fight against insurgency and banditry in this country. Looking at the integrity of what has shaped this country matters a lot. That is why I want to seek in the leave of this house, that it is very, very key and important because some of us are not even aware because it was not published. The motion was eventually stepped down to a later date. Outside the four walls of the chamber, Uko Nkole addressed newsmen on the recent outburst of smart at AME, calling the Abia state governor a drunkard. The Abia lawmaker called on the senator to tender an unreserved apology to the government and people of the state. As a serving parliamentarian from Abia state, I consider Senator Adeyemi's outburst as a deliberate insult, not only to the governor, his family, his Christian faith, where he's an ordained elder. My constituency, as an integral part of the state, but also to my humble self, his colleague, from Abia State. The lawmakers also deliberated on a motion calling for more proactive steps in preventing the spread of cervical cancer, described as the most common in African region, as plenary activities resume next Tuesday. Jokeyadse, TVC News, Abuja.